Hello, Andrew here from Harmony Music Center, and here's a short video on the great Red Hot Chili Peppers song, Californication. So what we have in this song, jumping right in, we're going to start with an A minor chord, and on that chord we're going to play the fifth string, fourth string, and then we're going to take our first finger off the second string, play it open, and then we're going to put our first finger back down where it would be on an A minor chord on the first fret and play that note. So again, that is... Our next chord is an F major 7. Now if we play our regular F chord with a little bar there on the first two strings at the first fret, an F major 7, instead of being barred, we're just going to be playing the second string at the first fret and then the middle finger on the third string, second fret, and the ring finger on the fourth string, third fret. And we would ordinarily play the bottom four strings for this. That's F major seven. For this song, we're there, the second chord sounds like this. It is the F major seven. And so what I'm doing there, there's two ways to play this. You can, um, I, f I find that both of them are a little bit awkward. The one that I tend to use, I take my thumb, reach it around and play the first fret of the sixth string, and then my ring finger on the fifth string, third fret, and I'm gonna play those in sequence, the sixth string, then the fifth string, then I'm gonna play the open third string, and with my middle finger, come down to the second fret of that string. The other way to play that, you can see which is more comfortable for you, is with the index finger and the ring finger, and then the middle finger on the third string, open, and then on the second fret. So either way, neither one is terribly comfortable. I prefer this one. So those two chords cycle back and forth during most of the verses of this song. And then the latter part of the verse, <clears throat> we go to a C chord. Now what you can do for this C chord is your index finger on the fifth string, third fret. You could bar it like this or like that, whatever is comfortable for you. But I find what I like to do here is I put my first finger there on the fifth string, third fret, my index finger on the fourth string, fifth fret, and my pinky on the second string, fifth fret, because we're only going to use those three strings. And then I'm going to play strings five, four, two, four. And then I'm just going to move that up to a G chord, and I'm going to do the same thing. I don't need to play the whole bar chord. I'm just going to play index finger on the third fret of the sixth string, ring finger fifth fret, fret of the fifth string and um, middle finger on the fourth fret of the third string. And then I'm going to play six, five, three, five. And then I'm going to move that whole thing down two frets to an F chord. Six, five, three, five. And then we go to a D minor chord and play four, three, and strum across the second and first strings together. So all together that part sounds like this. And then it goes back into The other parts of the song are on the song sheet and they're just strummed. We have, there's one section where um, the A minor and the F major seven are strummed back and forth. And then on the chorus, there are other chords that are strummed, but they're just the regular 
chords of C and G and D minor, A minor, and they're strummed, and so I won't go through that. So this is a good intermediate song to work on. Enjoy, and I'll see you soon.